It's all good, guys. Welcome all back right. to Sister Circle Live. Quad and Selena recently sat down with the hilarious Ricky Smiley, yeah. and the shenanigans started right away. <laughs> Take a look. <laughs> we have the one, the only legendary Ricky Smiley. You may know him from Dish Nation or even The Morning Show. Hey. Yes. I thought you was going to add something. Well, I mean, I just was very enamored by your intro. Oh, I right. thought you were going I'm just excited something. that, well, He's, he's a like she's introducing the guest pastor. That's when the guest pastor be like, when the pastor being introduced. <laughs> like, like. He waits. He waits. Just like this. When, they, when you say pastor do this right here, yes, that means he been a tab up. Been oh. a turn up. When he said the pa this pastor, this start out with the pastor. This pastor. Uh, I'm being yeah, yeah, go. No, no, you introducing the pastor. Okay. And this is what he's doing. Uh, this man has definitely uh, turned my life look around. At this, look at this. Uh, he is definitely a man of the cloth. <laughs> He's a stellar man in the community. Uh, a lot of people may call him Reverend. Mm -hmm. I look to him as a best friend, uh -huh. and a confidant uh -huh. in my time of need. Uh, he has been there for all of my children as they've been Yellow. baptized, Yellow. and I have 10 of them. Yellow. Um, I just got to say, I'm blessed that he's a personal friend of mine. Yes, God. Uh, you might call him Pastor, yes, God. Reverend Deacon, yes, God. Pentecostal Tabernacle. Mm -hmm. Freeze cup and lollipops. That's right. Coming to the stage right now. Down to the pulpit. Pastor Smiley. In the his house. <laughs> In the his house. What up, Ricky? What, what up, y'all? Like that. That, 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 that was a perfect that intro. That was fantastic. That's it. it. We love yeah. you down to the circle. We're, we're really so glad to, well, we're not really in the circle. We are in the circle space. Yes, we, we are. We brought the circle to you. And I, what I'm, you call I, the circle? What you had did with the circle? You had a sign for the circle. And then it was this. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. We are back. <laughs> yes. Circle. Yes. I'm going to be a thank y'all for having me. Thank y'all yes. for coming. Of course. I sure appreciate this. You're doing your you thing. Got a I fine mean, office here. You know, it wasn't hard to come to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice and all. I got the health department decorated. <laughs> It's clean. It's the boy in here, I got to tell you. It's clean. It's very it. doctor's office. Yes. It is given a doctor's tease. It, it needs is. to be on merit to medicine. Yes, That's it where is. it needs Absolutely. to be. Absolutely. It probably needs to be there. <laughs> but in. But in. Well, Ricky, we uh, love spending time with you, and we know that you love Roll Tide. God darn right. I know. I know, baby. Now, Bama boy. He's God a Bama darn boy. Right. <laughs> Go, Bama. <laughs> Ricky, if you could I play college. I love me some Alabama football. Like you got darn right. Why do you sound like you about three, four hundred pounds? <laughs> you got some camouflage, some on, and then with a hat with some writing on it, it's red hat. Damn right. It says, it's make right. America great again. That's what it says. Damn right. <laughs> no. That's what the hat means. That's that what the hat means. Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see how this get ready to go. I see how this get ready to go. <laughs> Well, Ricky, if you played college football, mm -hmm. let's take it a step, not a step up. How about if you played NFL? You played the in the National Football League. Mm -hmm. Who would you play for? Well, I mean, I've been a Cowboys. In what position? I, I, you know what? I used to be a Cowboys fan. I would play for the Cleveland Browns, mm -hmm. and I would play quarterback. I love, and they, they don't win a lot of games, but they're going to win some this year. Uh -huh. I got Cleveland roots. I used to live in Cleveland as a kid, uh -huh. and uh, that's my that's my, that's my my new number one team, the Cleveland Browns. I pull for them. I'm ride or die Cleveland Browns fan. Well, go on. Yeah. Get on. Yes, sir. Now, speaking of the NFL, just to switch gears just a little bit, you know, the Colin Kaepernick controversy is still going. What are your thoughts on this kneeling controversy? And is it foolishness? I mean, what's tea? Well, the, the, the deal is, you don't get to choose how we protest. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. You don't, get to, you don't get to tell us how to protest because you're not living what we live in. And, and if you helped us and was not silent on some other stuff, then it would be no need to protest. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. You know, you 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 mad. If we kneel, you mad. Mm -hmm. If we stand, you mad. If we uh, do all these things while black, you mad. But when somebody black get uh, unarmed, get killed by a white police officer, then you silent, what? pretty, pretty yeah. much. Why do you feel that in this country, we as African-American people are looked at as a threat, especially well, when it comes down to our men? Yeah, um, it's just it's just bottom line, point blank, uh, racism. Mm -hmm. uh, that has never went away. And that's why we have the number one, we have to vote, the prosecutor, the county commissioner, those are those are the most uh, the election that has an effect on you. Yeah, you'll go out and vote for a presidential election, but you won't show up for midterm. Mm -hmm. 
And then they got redistricting going on. They got they gerrymandering. They setting up where I can go all day. Don't 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 get me. Don't no, that's man. real. Good. This is all that's good that's information. Good. And it yeah. actually is. Yeah. Number two, we're going to have to stop shooting each other and stop uh, uh, where it won't be used as a distraction from the real issue. Come on. Well, see, you know what I find that is, is, is even more impactful is the fact that um, our leaders in entertainment like yourself, um, you have been very vocal. Mm -hmm. D.L. Hewley has been using his platform to be very intentional Absolutely. and very informative and, and very strong in stepping up as a black right. man to, to stand up for what we, what we all should be believing in. It's, it's, it's just... It's just some things that disgust me because here we are successful and we're concerned about you, but you are going to stand in line for two hours to get some freaking Jordans, but you won't go to a PTA meeting, a parent conference meeting, mm. and we people like me and y'all are out there fighting for the ones that's really being affected by mm -hmm. the systematic racism. Yes. Mm -hmm. You understand? I drive all the way two hours from Atlanta to Birmingham, Alabama just to vote. Mm -hmm. And we'll turn around and drive two hours and come all the way back for one vote. And I got people sitting on the front porch, holding the front porch down all day. day. Long. Won't pick the paper and the trash up out of the yard and won't go right up the street uh, uh, to the housing authority and vote. I voted in the projects where I grew up. I have voted in one place my whole life. I still vote in the same voting precinct. And it's just that kind of stuff that go on, and, it, and that angers me with us. It's a thing that we could do better. Yeah. But I just, I'm just saying it. I'm not talking down to our people. I am challenging people. Yes. You understand? Yes. Jesse Jackson said, my freshman year at Tuskegee, and I applied it to my whole life, and I probably quote this every day, just because you live in the project, that don't mean that the projects have to live in you. Mm, that's good. project is set up for you to get on your feet and get on up out of there and get out here and make some things happen. And when you make it change, help try to change other people's lives right. and lives and whatever, and being active. Oh, in, in, absolutely. Hey there, <laughs> welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Uh, let's watch as the laughs continue with Selena, Miss Quad, and Ricky Smiley. What could you tell the Ricky of 15 years ago? One piece of advice. What would you tell that Ricky today? Man, I just wish I had the wisdom that I have now, or mm. uh, whatever, on uh, hiring practices and make sure I'm surrounding myself with. Uh, good people that's going to protect me and protect my interests mm -hmm. or whatever. I have a better sense of uh, discernment now. Yes. You know, I see right through fake stuff or whatever. Mm. And um, and you don't have a problem with calling it out. Right Show on the spot. You, you, you ought to Show see me checking down. people that walk up to me in the airport and tell me, like, can I get? First words out of your <laughs> mouth is, can I get a picture? Not nice to meet you. How are you today? Wow. I'm a fan. I love your work. Right. Shake your hand, trying to hustle something out mm -hmm. of me, and I correct him right then. I said, where does can I get? Mm. What uh, does can I get? Does a sentence start with can I get? Mm -hmm. You're trying to get something from someone that won't even acknowledge the person that you're getting something How from. They said, well, I was scared. Well, you weren't scared enough to ask for something. Mm. And I'd be, I'd be. Come I, on, because, entitlement. Because the thing, yeah, oh, absolutely, Come absolutely. On, because the thing about I it hear. is, the thing about it is, if you want some, if, if I go to Walmart and I want to know where the bread is, I'm saying, how are you today? Yes, that's true. We have gotten so far away from home training and basic managing. And if you're black, you got it. Mm -hmm. Because if it wasn't your grandmama or your Somebody mama, your coach, your principal, that. your librarian, your pastor, your deacon, black folks got, got correct old school, old school training manners. everywhere. Yeah, so you true. can't say you don't have to. You just choose not, not to, to use, use it, it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. or whatever. So... You know, and I'll take a picture, as long as you don't ask me in front of a lot of other people. If we, this is just us, you know, I'll do it if you can and you respect, will not really love your work and nice and if you're pleasant mm -hmm. and decent mm -hmm. and in order. Do all things decent mm -hmm. and in order. But when you want to skip past that and you want to try to hustle and convince me where you can get some likes. Right, right, right. I don't think so. And I'm going to let you know how I feel right then and we're going to have a conversation. Uh -huh. I do it to every single person that started a sentence with me with can I get. I don't play it. What do you say to that fan who once you do have the interaction with them, oh Ricky, he's mean, he's stuck up, he think he better than everybody. They don't everybody. pay no bills in my house. How do you handle it? They don't that? pay no bills in my house. They don't put my kids through college. They didn't come see my grandma when she was sick. They didn't come to my dad at funeral. Come on, grandma. They damn sure didn't buy me this jacket and I got out of the that. Twenty nine dollars that ball. <laughs> None of that stuff. Hey, go see Kevin Hart, go see Bruce Bruce, and other comedians out there that might give you what you want the way you want it, but you're gonna come to me correct mm -hmm. because I don't disrespect anybody else. And that you should do it to everyone. Mm -hmm. It's a great area that no celebrity wants to talk about because you wanna keep the fans 
happy. If I'm taking the time to explain to you how you just made me feel by asking for something and not acknowledging me, how does that make me a mean person? Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Quan and Selena sit down with Ricky Smiley. It was so good. We even got more to show you. Uh, they chat about Ricky's reality TV success and so much more. Take a look. I thought she was going to tell me, no shorts too short. <laughs> you out here walking like the sweet daddy's girl. As soon as I leave, <laughs> Etiquette in class is everything. So I told all of my daughters, you cannot take another picture in your life like this. Ricky Smiley for real has been five seasons in. Congratulations, first Absolutely. of all, because it Absolutely. is hard to keep a show on television sure nowadays. Yeah. What do you think is attributed to that? What do you think are the key elements to keeping your show on air? Uh, for me, this season was just kind of, you know, switching up a little bit. I got four new kids in the house. Wow. Four. So I have a cousin to move in. Yeah. Uh, from Nashville, Tennessee, you know, come, was dealing with some issues or whatever. So my kids are all, my daughter's off in uh, Bogota, Columbia. Mm -hmm. My son uh, goes to IMG Academy. He's never there. So you got a big old house that you live in by yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and here, here you got a little cousin that you grew up with. She's like 10 years younger than me, but we grew up in the same house because our mothers are sisters. Right. Our right. first cousin. Bring the kids on. Let's make it happen. She's still in Tennessee working right now, but she's going to be eventually moving. But I got the kids. Yeah. And it's just getting an opportunity, a wonderful opportunity uh, to do it all over again and to correct that I, where I messed up with the other kids. Yeah. You understand? I made a lot of mistakes. I think I gave a lot of them too much, and they didn't deserve it mm. or whatever. So now I'm in a mode of making them work for it. And, yeah. you know, the Bible says train a child the way that he or she should go, and when they grow old, they will not depart from me. These young folks, they don't have nothing to lose. A lot of people are in the position they are because of the decisions that they have made. My daughter's at Tennessee State University, yeah. and she's had some challenges. Oh, well, what kind of challenges did the people uh, just, just I mean, it was on college the, challenges? I mean, yeah, what you know, partying of... too much, you know, got a little DUI. Okay. So I had to pull the allowance, I had to pull the Jeep. You know, you know, she had a car. Man, joke is a father. Man, Turn joke. it up in Wilson Hall. You ain't entitled to nothing. She didn't pay for that. Yeah. You go to, you know, our deal is if I work hard and do what I'm supposed to do, you gotta oh, she ain't got to come get me out of jail, so I got to go get her out of jail. Well, is that well, fair? That's true too. Well, how is her grades doing now? Is her grades are better. No joke. Oh, yeah, ain't no joke. That's good. I'm the one, I'm the one to raise. Yeah, my grandma used to say, if you can train a dog, you can train a child. Mm. Wait a minute. <laughs> how about that? That's old school. Come grandma. On, grandma. My grandma. She got twitching off the tree, didn't she? <laughs> oh, yeah. We used to get, yeah. we used to get, get so up. I didn't and I had a lady that. curse me out last year because I went over her house to see her, and her screen was out, and I went through the screen, and she made me go back out <laughs> and knock on the door when she could open the door. But, but there wasn't no screen, so I went in there like that. <laughs> She said, you need to go back out. And she came up and took the hook off the screen, though, and opened it. Come on, hook. Let me in, because I really should have not. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ricky, it's always great to she see you. She wouldn't have said nothing if Juicy would have went in there. But go ahead. We'll <laughs> see, it's that. That's it why we can't that. get along. It's not that. That's why it's we can't that. get along. You know what? Oh, my God. Came out of you know nowhere. what? You know what? If y'all want to talk, talk to yourself. <laughs> this <laughs> interview is, I can't, I can't, I can't deal with her. That came out Next of Next time we jacket. do a show, me and you going to talk. Not her. And Never I again. You have also been a real friend to Juicy, Gary with the T, oh, of course, yeah. everyone, right. mm -hmm. uh, and of course, uh, the brat. This season, we're going to see Juicy go, she's getting a hustle on. Right. Got a new side gig, all right. Expanding mm -hmm. her brand, that's real good. <laughs> right. And uh, Gary uh, has a health scare. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, uh, Gary, you know, was dealing with cancer. Oh, man. And um, we never knew it because he was coming to work every day and going through chemotherapy and radiation. Oh, my God. And uh, when I found out about it, man, like, like he really went down through there and was coming to work every day. And I noticed he was moving a little bit slow because, you know, he kind of walk tired, around too. like C-3PO from uh, Star Wars. You know how I get We just said you was a good friend. Oh, we just said he was a good friend. And then, the, and I then just, there's that. And I, just that. <laughs> I just blew it. I just, just, I just freaking blew it. It's all my God. I am not a friend. You just messed okay. it all up. Okay. So how did you feel about that? Did you, did you how did you, 
uh, knowing that he went through something so um, horrendous, mm. right? Did, did you feel a way that he was selfish by not telling you all, or did you come to him when you did learn, did you come to him in a, with, with support? Yeah, I came with support, you know, because people yeah. have to tell you in their own good. way. People That's private good. about stuff like yes. that. Yes, yes. You know, people go to a doctor and deal with health issues, and you don't want everybody to know. Yeah. So, so when he felt comfortable enough to tell me and talk about it, I said, okay, well, here's the plan. Here's how we're going to do it. Here's how we're going to handle it. And whatever you need from me, I got you. Mm -hmm. You understand? You know, so... Uh, with everybody that worked for me, all my employees, I just try to be nice to yeah, everybody. That's good. As long as I feel like they tr they being fair and honest about everything, and it's really not a big deal because we got Miss Shanika to come. You know, we just pull talent from elsewhere to fill in on days that he can't come mm -hmm. or whatever, and we just make it happen and we keep rolling. Yeah. But he has support. You yeah. Know? And, uh, that's good. And and Juicy being a bounty hunter, <laughs> now I don't know how many little people uh, there's a, a warrant out for their arrest that need to be caught. So. Why did I be little? So, she, so just because she little, she can't just arrest people that's hey, called. Hey, 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 Is that what Sarah, we're saying? Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. <laughs> I'm just Sarah. saying. Sarah, Sarah, Juicy gonna come, Juicy gonna arrest well, you. Well, is she armed? If, if you... <laughs> what you think a water gun gonna do to somebody <laughs> your side? I gotta go. I gotta get out of here. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna answer no questions. I'm not getting ready to keep dealing. Oh, Lord. I'm not, gonna deal I'm with not getting ready to keep dealing with this water gun. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we don't get along. <laughs> This why. I'm just, I'm just trying. I said, to I said before, I said, oh. I, I put it right here on the card before the interview. Hey, what you say? Do not bring up little people. <laughs> well, quiet, ask the question. Well, you know, you're sorry I had you to ask the question. Because uh, now I'm you're going to have all the little people mad at me. Well, and I'm the scared of them. I'm scared of them. When, when it's more than five, I'm scared of them because they, they run at you. They stack, stack up on you. Yeah, they'll run at you. They'll run at you. Take it all the way out. They and might get, stack and you get, up the, on you your get distracted because their little legs be moving so fast, you get distracted and you just panic. <laughs> well, we, we love you, but we yeah, got we to go. go. Yeah. We wish oh, we could stay up home. here and laugh with y'all all day. I love y'all too. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why? Why? This Why? Oh, hey, season Ricky. five premiere of Ricky Smiley for Real comes on TV One on October 30th. Ladies, great job. So great annoying. Job. <laughs> oh, my God.